Hey everybody, this is Bobby with TimeClick. Today we're going to look at trying to fix uh, entering an IP address on a server or the workstation. I'm basically going to be the same thing. There is a minor difference, but let's talk about the server. So if you're trying to open up TimeClick here, you'll get an error. It's asking to input the IP address. However, in order to fix that error, you will need to go to your task manager which is here, services, and look for TC, PSQL, or TC service. One of these are stopped or both. All you have to do is right click and start it up, and then restart time click, and you'll be good to go. Take a look here. Flip up and running. Now, to get to task manager, all you have to do is type in your bar, Type in task manager, or you can just right click your taskbar and then go to services. From there, if you're still seeing the issue, then you'll want to put an exception in the firewall. You'll just type down here again, type in firewall. You're going to look for Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. Go to inbound rules. New rule, port number, next, 12012, next, allow the connection, next, you will make sure everything's checked, and then you'll just simply type in time click. You'll do the exact same thing for outbound rule, new rule, same process. Now, for the workstation, what you'll do is you'll actually grab the IPv4 from the server and then plug it in. And to get that, you can hit Windows R to pull this up and type in CMD. This is your run. Or you can just type in CMD. This stands for Command Prompt. Once you're here, type in IPconfig, all one word, lowercase, and hit Enter. We're going to be looking for the IPv4 address right here. Once again, this is for on the server that you need to grab um, the IPv4 address and then you plug it into the workstation. You'll plug this in right there and you are good to go.